Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So, at the end of the last episode we had made a machine frame. In between times what I've been doing is I've been smelting down some of those iron, broken iron to get some nuggets. So, And then I've just made those nuggets into proper iron. So let's just have a look at what I've got here now. So let's make iron ingots with proper iron is what I meant to say. So we've got 39 ingots so that'll give us a block of iron I think. So we can take a block of iron out of that and we get four more ingots left over and we need to make this metal metal caster that one what i found is that there is a problem with it this every time i start it up it's not loading up the recipes correctly so i have to just do an empty reload on those and then that sorts of that problem out so why actually this metal caster is very important it's got recipes in here that I don't like because when you highlight them you can't see. So we get an induction crucible furnace which we don't need to start with but we do need this metal caster here. As you see it didn't actually uh, re remember the ender pearl that the ender pearl was loaded so we'll click that as a second one because that builds up the charge. So very shortly we'll have a, a, a metal caster but it also looks like we've got to make these molds here and that uh, these are actually made out of one block of um, iron now i don't actually see why he's got these recipes in here because we could do that making a pulverizer i think we need to pulverize that let's have a look at what the recipe for that is pulverizer so we need a piston two pieces of flint one redstone reception coil that these are all done at the assembly table uh, two pistons of copper and one machine frame. Now none of this actually so far needs, we can make all of these bits fairly straightforwardly. So I don't know why those casts are there, because with, with the pulverizer, you can't see the recipes I don't think on this anymore. Signal disabled, you can't see it, which is a bit of a shame. Right, that's now done, let's hold on, does that not it. What's just happened there? Oh, I've got a metal caster, cool. It wants a second metal caster? No, we want to disable that. That's that's better. It just hadn't updated properly. So the metal caster we're going to put down in the foundry. I reckon I'm going to put it about here to start with. Like that. So it's got power from underneath. And as you can see, you could put in these these cases in here, but and, the, and here we put in a frame, and here we put in molten metal. So I hope, but you can't actually export. So for instance, it's on here I've got an output configuration here. If I turn that that way around, or the yellow, let's make that yellow, like that. So that's the molten gold would go out that side, but doesn't seem to have any way of getting it into it using that technique I think we can use a bucket but that's probably about all let's try that wrong one let's come over here let's put in some here a bucket of that if we select if we select gold on this one like that and then put the bucket in here it gets filled up with gold like that and then if we come along here we might be able to put the gold into this machine might is the word here i'm not 100 percent sure so this one here if i put it in here it won't go in i don't know why he has removed those that doesn't make much sense to me you could remove the other ones because they're not necessary at this stage we can make blocks anyway so let's actually let's put this gold back into here because i might need the bucket for something else so now quests i've put that down and haven't detected that that was not clever and i think it's one of these ones you can't pick up with with the tool so let's just right click that no you can't pick it up with the tool you see it just highlights it so we have to use that pickaxe that'll work fine so let's go and take that quest now and then we can claim the that 
so that we can put it back again. Now these are really useful. What I've just got now is really useful and I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do with this. Because I've got 30 glass cables and I'm going to use those glass cables and I'm going to drag them across here like this. So I'm going to drop, knock all of this out here and I'm going to put these glass cables up and I'm going to run them through. Hopefully I've got enough, I think I have actually. That, that connects up. Do you wonder if I actually ran them through here or through here? Let me just double check this. I think that's the best place for them. It's a bit ugly. I might even push them later on, adjust the position of these. We've got 12, that should be fine. And then we can push these across to these machines here, like this. In fact, I think we can do it on all three. So, what we also got here was an ME three MEM fluid import buses. So, the first one we're going to do is put the first one on here, like this. And that's going to import everything that's in here. So, we've got nothing at the moment we have got some in here so we could actually put another one in here like this and that should automatically pull this out of here if I'm not mistaken but I have to do the top side there we go so that gold has now been cleared and it's in the system so we can actually go and check that wrong one so we should have 12 buckets of molten gold which is great. Now what that means is we can do is we can go along here now and put the iron in here like this and then that's going to get smelted down to 216 millibuckets each iron. So that's then going to get sent out of here but it can also get sent out of the top. Oops, wrong way. Like that and as you see it's coming out of here automatically and therefore it'll be entering into the system so we look at that now we've got iron coming in here and it's coming in a reasonable amount so that's pretty good so what else have we got some export buses okay so now the next thing we need to do is to get a mold now unfortunately let's have a look at this so that was complete so now we can do this one, get in shape. And this is where we've got to make three moulds. And the way we make these moulds from the foundry is to put blocks of iron in the assembly machine. So let's have a look at that. So the first one is I really want to make one block of iron. So let's have a look at the recipe for blocks of, for these moulds. So this is the first one. So we need one block of iron or make one mould. I should have enough ingots in here now, nuggets in here. So let's have a look. What did we have? Got about three blocks in there, and this is both run out. It would probably be enough actually, because we need 81 nuggets for a block of iron. Let's put those into there like that. Just convert all of those to iron. We can also smelt these as well. So we make that like that. We then get our block of iron. So we now put our block of iron in the assembly machine. Like this. And then it'll highlight these extra ones. And I'm going to make the block mold. But when you highlight this, you don't see it. Let's just turn that off. Now I'll turn this one off again to make sure and then put that back on again. That's, that's the main reason I do not like those um, those blocks. They're a, bit, they're a bit nasty. So now, it's fairly straightforward. All we need now is to do the, the next bit. So we can put into this machine here now a mould mold block in here like this. 
and then we can feed this with molten iron so we get an mp export import bus like this let's just stand up a bit because i need to be a bit a little bit higher like that so i want to put the me import bus here like that and i want a bucket of iron as a filter so we have to go and get a bucket of iron Right, wrong one. Let's just do it here. So I need iron selected and I want a bucket of iron. Like that. And then that becomes the filter. And later on what we'll do is we'll keep it. I don't know whether it was possible to automate that, but like this. Let's come up here and then right click that and then put into this a bucket of iron. And then it'll start to import this into here. And as it imports it into here, it's going to convert all of this into blocks of iron. So what I need to do is to basically stop that after two blocks. It's probably now ready. So let's just turn that off. So we've now got one block of iron, which means we can go and do the next item in this in this thing. How much do we need here? We've got 1100, and, which is not enough. Okay, so we do need to put another one in here. Let's put another bucket in here. How much have we got in the system? Probably already finished let's put some more iron into here get that melted down and then this should increase a little bit and then as soon as it increases it starts that's great so now we can take this off like that so what we really need is another bus so if we actually let's take this bus here now and we can actually put that on there and we can then toggle that up so that's then going to be an me export bus and I want that to export into the system when this is all finished. So we've got our second here, and what have we got in here? 80 molten gold. So ideally what I should do is put in here a toggle bus like that, and then that will have removed all of this from in here like that. But then I have to break this, which is a bit, uh, and it breaks both. I get them back again but that's not the problem it's just repeating to do that is a bit of a pain so anyway that's done we could make a toggle bus but that would use the last two of our cables that might not be such a good idea so what do we need to do now we just clear that off like that so we've got our two blocks of iron let's go over here and put those into the assembly table we'll do one at a time so next time we do an ingot mold like this. Okay, turn off that. Turn it back on again and then turn off this. And then we'll do the next one, which is a gear mold, which is that one. Turn off that, turn that off and put it back in again. Oops, wrong one. Like that. So we have the other two molds now. Unfortunately that because you can't see it's great got grey corners on it, it's a real pain, so there we are. So now we've got our three moles, let's just check that quest in, detect it, and we get 128 water. So we clean that and then we're done. And then and then we can come along here and we can actually put actually these moulds, we can keep them in here like this. So the next thing we need to do is to make another machine frame, so we need a tin gear for that, um, and a block of iron. So how we're we doing let's toggle that to fill mode mode so it's filling in the iron in here that should be going in yes it is it's very slow but by the way in the meantime we can take these out of here like that because we're actually finished with the furnaces now we're not going to use those again we're just going to keep do it this way because now we've got our, our Instead of using one nugget, it uses. In fact, if we can actually take this out of here, put that in there, they get them very fast because they're already liquid, they're already iron, so it doesn't have to do too much work with them. But the ore it takes quite a long time. Toggle fill. So the next thing we need is we need some tin. We need to make a tin gear. Now, which one of these is tin, broken nickel, broken tin ore? So I'll take a stack of those. 
Oops. Oxygen. Yeah. Obviously. Not paying attention to my oxygen for a change. That wasn't very clever. In fact, I'm going to pick this up now. And in fact, I'm going to pick up these. We don't have any uses for these furnaces anymore. One of the reasons why I didn't build a lot of them. I do. I think they're only used in recipes now, so that's why. What are we doing here? Right, we need to get some tin on the go as well. In fact, it should be getting exported out of here. We can put our iron in here because we need another block of iron, don't we? Right, so it's already filled all of that up. So we need another block of iron like this, and then that starts that process. Let's remove this from here because we want the tin to come in next. That's broken iron. Let's put the tin in because we've obviously got plenty of iron at the moment. Yeah, that's, a, that's quite a good one as well. We've got resonant. So we've got some more iron, plenty of blocks of iron. In fact, what we can do now is just turn those and the rest of those into nuggets. It goes through faster. We don't have an import node yet, so I can't import these into here. can put that one on there. In fact, what I can do with these, of course, is to move it a little bit further back. I think it probably automatically connect, won't it? Hmm. Actually, the fluid transposer is set up. I don't need this to work like this anymore, do I? Yeah, exactly. So that's importing that into that. So now we need a bucket of tin. So let's go and get a bucket of tin. And at the same time, change the oxygen tank. I'll put this, in, put this one back. And we need a bucket of tin now. So we select tin. We can make a tin gear. So we got 23 of those, we've got 96 lots of that. So we swap this over for that, like that. We fill it, we tell it we want to put in tin. It won't go in yet because there's still a little bit of iron in here, like this. As you can see. So we need to get rid of this. So if I put down this connector here, It connects up automatically. We'll be filling it with tin, which will be draining out straight away. So we we'll just break this again. Probably with a pickaxe is better. Let's use the pickaxe. So now it's filled up with tin, and we get our tin gear. We only want one of those, so let's take that out of there straight away. And we've got one tin gear, and then we'll just put this node back in again. And turn this off. Put the import bus on here like this. Put the cable back again. It's a nuisance, I will be honest with you. Now, there is another way to do this. Let's try doing that. Let's go and make a toggle bus. Oh, I'm going to look in the wrong place. Let me toggle bath. So we've basically got glass cables, which you can do. We haven't got a lever yet. In fact, I think that it'll actually work like this, in fact. So we now need a lever, which is a piece of cobblestone and a stick. Come back, you're, all, you're forgiven. And then we get an Emmy toggle bath. 
Actually, I do need a second lever, so let's make a second lever. Like that. So what we're going to do this time is to break that connection again. Put the ME fluid input bus here. Put onto that the toggle bus. Doesn't seem to connect. Can we connect it with this now? No, it didn't work right. Is that wrong? Oh my god, that in the wrong place. Hmm. Maybe I have to. I want the toggle bus to be down one. So what happens if I put the cable up here like this? Yeah, and then I can put the toggle bus on it, can I? Yeah, and then can I put this into here? I bet I can't. No, I can't. I haven't got enough room. Okay, so that means I've got to put the toggle bus in a different position. Alright, we'll do that. So we'll put that down here. Put the toggle bus at the top. And then put the cable in its place. Like that. And then we should be able to put the lever beside this. I think it'll work here. Nope. It's got to be in front of it or behind it, doesn't it? Never knock this block off here. Yeah, maybe that'll work. I can get to it, that is. Oh. What did. I turned all the lights off? How can that have turned all the lights off? Okay, bad position. <laughs> there must be something behind that. Never mind. I suppose the next thing to do is to put a block here. And then put the lever on that. Maybe this will work. If not, I'll have to figure it out. No, it's not working. That's a bit of a nuisance. Uh, You know, it's really got to be on this block here, hasn't it? But we can't get there. If I went down straight through here, could we do it that way? Maybe. Let's just try that. I want a block to stand on. Because what we could do is we could take this blocks across here like this. And then break this and put those blocks behind. We've got this join here. So we should have more than enough cable to do this, like that. And then I should be able to put the lever here, like this. I can find it. No, oh, it's still not activating this block. But let's just try something else. Will it work there? Yes. So that now works. So in other words, that's then on and off. Well, it's a bit hard work. I can put another block in here as well, of course, put it back again. It's sort of neater but not very clever. I'm not too happy with it. Never mind, it'll do it'll do for the job that we need it to do, which is to empty this out when we need to empty it out. So, right. Let's go back to our quests. So we've done that and we've got our water done. So then we have to go we've completed that's the end of this chain. Cracking it down, pulverizer. And we get another 10 E cables and some import buses. Oh, great. So now, pulverizer has to be. We've got power in here. It just looks a bit dark for a second. I'm just not sure what's going on. 
I wanted to pulverize, but I didn't try it. So look, it'll be the same basics, I think. So we need a metal frame, two copper gears, which we can get started, one piston. Piston's fairly straightforward. We've done a few of those before. Uh, and the metal frame is this one. So we need the tin gear, which I think we should have four ingots of iron and two pieces of glass, which we haven't got. So, right, let's get on with that. So first thing we need is a some tin. We've got that, and we need some copper. We've got enough copper here. Let's get this melted down as well. Convert it to liquid form because that's the easiest to deal with. This is now empty, which is actually good because we can start putting into here some copper now. So we need copper gears. We put that into there like that, and then we'll need to get the bucket of copper ready for that as well. At the moment, I have I don't have that much in terms of resources, so it's a bit awkward. I could make a I've got 23 iron now. I think I'm going to make a hopper. So we'll need a a chest. And the hoppers are actually standard stuff. Like that. So with one hopper, I should also put a second chest on top of it. But um, that will use up the wood. So we can then put the hopper on this side like this. And then we can tell it to input from the left hand side configuration like that and then we can stick into here all of these so that they will be, carry on working while we're actually waiting for th other things to happen so now we need to make the machine frame so that was one block of iron and i have forgotten already let's have a look we just put one in you see that's one one of the things I really don't like about that. And then we want a machine frame. Oops. Missed the in out. Machine frame this one. So it's four ingots of iron and two glass, that was what we needed. I don't need that. Add a tin gear. So we just need two more pieces of glass, so we need the obsidian, which will make the glass for us, which I think we've already got, actually. Yes, we have. So we've got enough here, so we need fours. I'm not doing that in a sensible way, never mind. I think we just need one. I think we've got one in the other, in the other place. So that's all we need for the second machine frame. Take that one on, turn this off, leave it to run, and then we can turn this one back on again afterwards. So the next one we need is some copper. Let's take our bucket. And we've got some molten tin in here. Let's put that back in again. Let's this time select copper. We need this filtered into here come along here and we can put some copper into this filter up here like that and then that should start to fill in which we just need two gears like that then we can remove that remove the copper from here like this and then turn this on and that should then empty it out nicely put the gear mold back in there and then we can put the cob copper back into here like this so what else do we need for the pulverizer let's have a look We need a redstone coil, I can remember that one. Machine frame, a piston and two flints. Flints we can make again 
from um, what I didn't do is take the recipe for glass which I don't really need because I know what it is these days but flints we can also make in here so let's have a look at this one let's go back to that flint so it's four of each which is actually sort of expensive so what we're going to do is we're going to make some gravel and bash some gravel now gravel is fairly strict it's very cheap it's just one like this so if we break down say we make nine of these doesn't actually have that many uses this actually to be honest with you like that and then take our hammer here oh it's a shovel age isn't it never mind let's see um shovel should we got our diamond shovel haven't we let's look i think that's probably put away somewhere not in there there we go we should get from this sometime a piece of flint there we go let's put those down again in fact it actually converted it to a piece of flint but that's compared to the cost of nope oh, and on that time There we go so we've now got that so that's a bit a cheaper way of getting flint but it does cost a bit on the on the usage of your diamond uh, shovel so right let's have a look so we needed that one sorry wrong one so we've got our two flint we need the redstone reception coil which is two redstone and one ingot of gold now gold we don't have any ingots of yet i don't think no um redstone reception call so we need two pieces of redstone i think it is and one piece of gold let's put the actually i've got water in here until let's put the water away i can put the gravel away for that matter as well so we need some gold a gold ink a gold nugget a gold ingot sorry so we need a bucket we want the bucket of gold let's select molten gold push it in through but what we can do with this now is we can take out some of our other broken ores as well it might be enough for the time being This is probably emptied out a bit, yes, so it's got enough for those two. It'll finish doing the iron, of course, and then it'll switch to doing silver, and then eventually it'll do some more tin. So, right, where are we? I probably should put aluminium through as well. Gold, we need a gold nugget uh, ingot. So, let's put, um, yes, let's do it that way. Let's put the gold in here to start with, it'll fill up. And then let's just put quickly put the and that's all we need like that and then we can turn on this uh, if i turn this off yet not yet oh it was on this is now empty good so we come down here now we've put the gold and the two there we can get our redstone reception coil machine frame will turn off the ender pull to start with has that already gone through uh, something weird here it seems to be doing things in the wrong order anyway we've got a redstone reception call just double check this turn that off see that just changed it over let's put that back on there like that so what else do we need for the pulverizer but I keep pressing the the quote which is uh, the button for that two copper cores one piston so we need a piston so that's one redstone and one piece of iron let's 
take out one redstone from here let's come over here I think the other ingredients are all still in here we've got some wood and some of that so basically we've got enough for one piston yes turn that on turn that off and I'm going to turn this off because it'll make it straight away turn that on again so we have our one piston double check what's going on in here turn that as a secondary item so when that's finished it'll carry on going through yeah that I'll see what it did it took the first one it made it look a bit confusing this is just for the next piston but I don't really have enough so let's take it out of there come over here just to make sure we don't get any strange recipes coming up so we can put all of this stuff away so we got that we got that we've got uh, redstone reception coil we just need the machine frame I think next that's it yes so we can put all of these things into the assembly into the assembly table I think that's where it goes And then when this is finished, and it's switched over again, we can do that. Right, let's look at this now. Back to quests. So that's almost done. And then we can't see what this one is. But maybe we can do this now. Or conversion table. In fact, that will be for next time so until then bye for now